St. Paul refers to marriage as a great mysterion or the great mystery. This union is the most serious because it binds your future in its hopes and pleasures, but also in its pains and sorrows that may be hidden from your eyes. But you know these elements are present in everyday life because by not knowing what lies ahead, you still take each other for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, until death. And because these words involve such a solemn obligation, it is fitting that you rest securely of your marriage upon the principle of self-sacrifice. And only then will you belong entirely to each other. Only then will you have one in mind, one in heart, and one in affection. Sacrifices are always difficult, and only love makes them easier. We ask that God bless you on this day and always lead and guide you for many more years to come. And may you continue to show that love and care for each other through forgiveness, through understanding, and through self-sacrifice. between Hillary and Tom. Today is truly about Thomas and Hillary. Tom and Hill, T-Bone and Hill Dog. <laughs> Two kids who met at good old Wisconsin U and have been together ever since. So Tom. Tommy boy. Tom Bomb Jr. T-Bone, Tommy Two-Tone. <laughs> One thing I really enjoyed getting to know Tom is we kind of developed a really good like in sync timing of when to show up at the old fashioned bar. Yeah. <laughs> so we know when it's time to get the night started and mix a cocktail. Growing up with Tom was incredibly fun. We would spend countless hours with our cousins and friends, which are memories I can say both of us will always be unbelievably grateful for. He was a hilarious little kid who had personality for days and would just be high octane all day long. <laughs> Tom is someone I can always count on for Sunday naps, his sleepy Sundays, <laughs> and late night snacks. <laughs> I mean, ask Will. I mean, it's, it's two o'clock, it's like, hey. Let's go to Taco Bell or something. How about Taco Bell? <laughs> the perfect match for Hillary. You have the kindest heart and you literally do anything to make Hillary feel special. Tom never fails to bring a smile to my face and he's always so positive, so charismatic and I'm uh, proud to call you my new brother. As for Hillary, um, 
<laughs> Hillary really is an incredible woman. She's an amazing daughter, sister, and friend to so many people that are here today. Hillary is someone that truly challenges and inspires people around her to do better and work harder. Hillary, you've always been so confident, knowing what you want to do, where you want to be. Hillary, I've always wanted to be like you, look like you, dress just like you. You literally look like Audrey Hepburn all the time. <laughs> I wasn't going to say this, but I've really been wanting to try on your wedding dress. <laughs> but most of all, I want to be as accomplished as you and find a love like you did. Hillary's my oldest, the oldest sister to Evan. The interesting thing, when Hillary was a toddler, she thought for sure she was going to marry Evan. That was just kind of that was just kind of the part, you know. Oh, I'm going to be with Evan for the rest of my life, and she cried and cried when we told her you're not marrying Evan. Kathy sat down with Hillary at that point in time and said, uh, Hillary, no, you're not going to marry your brother, but someday somebody special is going to come along, and he's going to take. <laughs> What's the time? I'm not. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good yet. He's going to take your heart, he's going to bless you, and you're going to feel so special. When we sent her off to college, as a parent you always worry, especially with daughters, you always worry about how are they going to get from point A to point B. At Madison it's, it's more like how are they going to get from uh, the KK Club to Wando's or the Red Shed or worse yet. <laughs> and I would always ask Hillary, Hillary, how are you going to get home? I want to know who's walking you home. Dad, don't worry. Uh, if the girls leave early, I have a friend. His name is Tom. Tom, what's the plan? <laughs> Found out Tom went to Lyons Township. I found out Simone and Nikki and Natalie from neighboring Fenwick. Kevin and Danny and Mike and Bob. Did Bob go to? Bob and Ron. I mean, when I found out the group of friends that Tom was hanging with, I was like, Hillary, go out with this guy. <laughs> I mean, this group of friends, I'm telling you, they are special. They look out for one another, they protect one another. They're truly a special group of friends. It's been very inspiring to see your guys' relationship grow throughout these post-college years. You both are incredibly diligent and hardworking when you set your mind to things, which is something that absolutely shows out in the strength of your relationship together. I'm very excited for you guys today, and I really can't wait to see the man, woman, and couple that you guys become. Hill, I love you, and I know that you're a perfect match for Tom, and I could not be happier for you guys to start your life together. Tommy boy, my little bro, I love you, my man. I'm always here for you and Hill, no matter what happens in life, through it all. Anything you need, I've always got your back. I love you both, and I can't wait to see everything you two accomplish together. We love you for life, and can't wait to see what the future holds. Today goes by quickly. But life, too, goes by quickly. So you need to slow down, okay? saw the determination and what it takes it's a sacrifice to make each other better and to enjoy your life and celebrate your life together at this time I have the great privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Hillary Hart
raise our glasses. I'm going to raise our glasses to honor them. Let's raise a glass to Hillary and Tom. And I'll see you on the dance floor, people. Automatic. Let's go. Everybody. Hey,